Hi guys, welcome again sa pagpapatuloy ng ating lecture video for heat transfer. So, this is the second problem na sasagutan natin for heat conduction gamit yung Fourier's law. Okay, so this time, sasagutan natin is still coming from the transport processes and unit operation 3rd edition by Christy Ginko, please. No? So, we will be answering problem 4.1-2. And this problem is about the determination of thermal conductivity. So, let's begin and check the problem. In determining the thermal conductivity of an insulating material, the temperatures were measured on both sides of flat slab of 25 mm of the material and were 318.4 and 303.2 Kelvin. The heat flux was measured as 35.1 watts per square meter. Now, calculate the thermal conductivity in BTU, R, feet, degree Fahrenheit, and in watts meter Kelvin. Okay? So, so katulad nung ginawa natin last time, no, illustrate muna natin ang ating problem here. So, the direction of our heat flow is from higher temperature going to lower temperature. So, we have T1 here and T2 here. So, our direction of our heat is that way, okay? And this will be our x1 and this will be our x2, okay? So, this time, ang required sa atin is to get the thermal conductivity. And we will express that in BTU per R feet degree Fahrenheit and watts per meter Kelvin. So, ano yung mga given natin dito? So, first given ang thickness ng ating slab. So, our delta X is equal to 25 millimeter. So, alam natin, no, lahat dito nakameter. So, convert na natin siya sa meter. So, we have 1,000 millimeter, 1 meter. So, our delta X is equal to 0 0.025 meters. No? Now, our temperature, T1 is equal to 318.4 Kelvin and our T2 is equal to 303.2 Kelvin. Now, the heat flux is given. So, we know that heat flux is heat over area. So, given ang value natin ito which is 35.1 watts per square meter. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, We would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa ating YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. Okay, so gagamitin na natin yung Fourier's law natin, no? So, yun na derived natin last lecture natin. So, we have the heat flux is equal to K times T1 minus T2 over delta X. So, since lahat is naka-SI tayo rito, so, ang thickness natin, naka-meter, ang temperature is naka-Kelvin, ang ating heat flux is in watts per square meter, so, unahin natin sagutin itong thermal conductivity in watts per meter Kelvin na unit, no? So, given ang ating Q over A, so, ang hinahanap natin is yung K, so, we have here K is equal to Q over A, times delta X over T1 minus T2. Okay? So, yan ang ating formula dito. No? So, let us now solve for this. We have K is equal to our Q over A is equal to 35.1 watts per square meter times our delta X, okay, our thickness which is 0.025 meters, and then divided by our temperature which is 318.4 minus 303.2 Kelvin. So, what will happen? Itong meter natin will be cancelled out and what will 
remain here is meter. No? So, our K will be equal to 35.1 times 0 0.025 divided by the difference of 318.4 and 303.2. So, in here, our K will be equal to 0 0.0577 watts per meter Kelvin. So, this is our final answer in this unit. Pero, pinahanap din sa atin yung answer in BTU per R per feet per degree Fahrenheit. So, kung naalala ninyo, yung previous lecture natin, nagbigay tayo ng conversion factor. No? So, i-convert lang natin ang ating thermal conductivity. So, in here, we have our K 0 0.0577 watts per meter kelvin. So, i-convert natin siya. And the conversion that we have is that in 1 BTU per R per feet and degree Fahrenheit, we have 1.73075 watts per meter kelvin. So, our unit will be cancelled out. And then, our K will be equal to 0 0.0577 divided by 1.73075. This is equal to 0 0.03334 BTU per R feet degree Fahrenheit. So, this is our final answer for this problem. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day!